If you think about a new ball, it's like a newborn baby. It's very, very exciting. Take it out of its shiny wrapper, looks beautiful, doesn't it? But it's actually useless. It can't speak, it's ungovernable. It, but when, it, when can a ball speak? That's the point. <laughs> After about five or six overs, when the lack has gone off, mm. you can, you can, it's biddable, you can start to make it do things. You can start to make it swing. Mm. By the time it's 15 or 16, it, it's actually doing everything. And you, in ways that you don't actually want it to after 15, 16 overs on occasion. And the ball, yeah. So Sorry, we're at so 15 yes. then. So at 15, 16, you know, then it's really starting to swing. And then it kind of settles into a kind of rhythm when it starts to go to work, 30, 40 overs old. Then has a midlife crisis at 50, reverse swings. Right? <laughs> and does something completely different from what it had been doing the rest of its life, right? <laughs> so the question I pose to you after the, all that is... If Anderson is going to bowl, say, a five, six over spell up front, why is he doing it as a swing bowler with a ball that's not really swinging? How about three overs of Ollie Stone, get the lacquer off the ball, mm. and then hand it to Anderson when, the, mm. when that ball is biddable and starting to construct sentences? Yeah, so you, you, you're saying that Jimmy Anderson should never bowl with a new ball because it doesn't speak? That, I mean, you could, you could synthesize so you wait my for argument the ball to be able that. to speak. <laughs> kind of. And become that annoying teenager. Maybe a little bit earlier than that. Yeah, okay. yeah, you know, when it's starting to collect panini stickers. <laughs> <laughs>